And after that collapse and also a 3.9 earthquake shaking the East Bay on Monday, Santa Cruz officials now looking at infrastructure around their area. Here at KION, we decided to take a look at the safety of some buildings. KION's Medley Wayne Tall tells us what the city building and safety division are taking a look at. Melody? The answer is complicated, by, but the city is at high risk because Santa Cruz is near at least six major faults and fault systems. Several buildings in downtown were rebuilt after the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake that killed 62 people and left $6 billion worth of damages. Three of those were killed were residents of Santa Cruz, and the 1906 San Francisco earthquake almost destroyed the Santa Cruz courthouse. The most intense damages came from liquefaction, where movement like an earthquake can loosen the soil and allow water to penetrate, basically creating quicksand. The entire downtown city of Santa Cruz is at risk of liquefaction. The code that we uh, that people built to here is is it's a life safety code. Its its intent is to make sure that people can escape escape the building, not necessarily uh, have the building be a serviceable structure when all said and done. In the last probably twenty years, they've become a little more sophisticated as far as uh, requiring more than code designed for their buildings. Um, however, we're we are not. Uh, we are not, we don't have a mandate to, to require more than code right now. Large cities like Los Angeles and San Francisco have started a movement to, to deal with the infrastructure of their potential dangerous buildings, but the movement hasn't reached Santa Cruz yet. Earthquakes are one of the most significant threats to Santa Cruz, and according to a U.S. geological survey, there's a 62% probability of there being an earthquake above 6.7 magnitude in the next 20 years.